everyone welcome to wiki channel recently i posted a video about the exxon l220 and its unboxing as well as installation to let you know how to install the ink cartridges for the very first time when you buy epson l220 or l360 or basically pretty much any uh, ink system ink tank system printers so in this video i'll go through the settings and the different uh, troubleshooting methods that you can adapt to your printer so if your printer has any sort of problem in the future you can uh, go through these troubleshoot methods and see if uh, it resolves otherwise there is always a comment section uh, below the description you can always come here and leave a comment i'll see that i could uh, help you out there in this video we are going through the different settings that are available uh, in the epson's l220 before uh, we take a printout or if you are facing any sort of uh, problem with the printing quality of the image or say the texts are not showing up properly or kind of uh, banding you see or some sort of misalignment in various images so what you can do is go to the settings you can find that on the taskbar right here right click on the epson's logo printer logo right click on it and you will see various uh, settings available uh, these are actually shortcut methods you can uh, right away go and uh, resolve the problems you are facing with the printer so first of all i will show you how to nozzle check nozzle check is nothing but you are seeing variable patterns or some sort of lines or uh, image is missing after you print so you can go to this setting as you can see on the screen here the lines showing black and various other colors that your ink system has so there should not be any misalignment or uh, missing elements in the page if you see any kind of uh, things like that you can just click on the clean button and the printer will start to check the nozzles it will actually clean up head nozzle and make sure the quality would be fine when you print it next time after it is done it will take probably 5 to 10 minutes depending on how much you have uh, used your printer so if it is new it will take less than uh, 10 minutes if it is not new if it is old if the ink has been consumed already it will probably take 10 to 15 minutes so this is called head cleaning another method of uh, checking uh, the nozzle or the pattern so you do the head cleaning only when it is needed because it consumes uh, quite a bit of ink than the other settings so make sure you know what you are doing so head cleaning will uh, basically clean the head of it by consuming the ink and disposing it off so that you get the proper image quality you desire always from the printer another setting is to go to the printer settings here is wh where you find all the different settings of the epson printer so as you can see there are different uh, presets that you can choose while printing very quickly these are presets you can actually save the preset as well when you go to the maintenance tab here also you get just like i said that uh, right clicking on the epson's logo you will get the shortcut to uh, various different settings otherwise you would always have hit here in the printer settings here you can see that you can change the offset from top left to the paper when you print on the paper text or be it anything you can choose the margin whatever you want it to be printed there is also information about how your uh, uh, printer would uh, do when when you don't use it often it would automatically sleep uh, go to the sleep mode just like how your pc does and uh, it will show you number of sheets that are uh, available on the uh, tray here then you can uh, go to the monitoring uh, preferences where you can uh, choose what notification you would want from the epson printer if there are any updates it will notify you if the uh, notification checkbox is enabled in the more options you can see you can uh, uh, customize the printing type you desire like reduce or enlarge the document uh, change the document size output paper you have option of high speed if you are just printing a black and white i would suggest you to use that high speed it will not consume much ink and you can also add watermark suppose if your document is uh, conf confidential or priority and you want to let uh, only the people you would want to know you can always uh, use that on the paper itself while printing it will uh, print as a watermark you can also add your own customized watermark like say if you are uh, if you have any kind of uh, photography business or something like that you you can actually print it uh, just as a watermark here on the paper just like this clicking on the user defined watermarks you have the text here changing the text will change the watermark also you can add images as well browse the uh, use the browse tab to add any sort of image you want it to uh, be merged on the paper it, it kind of looks faded as if uh, it was printed on the paper itself 
like I said the reduce enlarge document is also available and I would not suggest you to use any type any sort of color correction unless uh, or until your uh, monitor is not calibrated so if your monitor is calibrated and you are sure of uh, what color you are getting on the printer I would not suggest to use uh, the color correction method like I said you can uh, add or remove the different presets uh, for example if uh, you are setting up for a photo print you can change all the different settings and then save the, that preset with the name photo or something uh, you want that way next time you print photo uh, photo paper print it on photo paper you just can choose the available preset here then you have the option of uh, color printing grayscale printing and the two-sided printing like collate or some other stuff extra then you have the multi-page if you are printing poster 4 cross 4 you need uh, different uh, pages on one single page and you would uh, rather cut it later you can choose that uh, and one important thing is I would recommend you to enable that print preview button so that next time you print the image uh, your printer uh, before printing the image it will show you the actual output how you are getting for example if you are printing uh, photos images as such it will show you how the image output on the paper is going to look sometimes it may differ due to the different monitor calibrations or the different color profiles say srgb if you have chosen srgb in the photoshop and uh, you let the printer manage the colors and printer might choose some different profile that also you can choose here as you can see image uh, color handling of the printer you can choose it to different so you can see that document is srgb and the printer profile is uh, quite different so moving uh, here also you can go to the print settings if you have forgotten to set it before this is just a quick uh, go through to you all to let you know how many available settings there are so as you can see I had not disabled the color adjustment you can go to the advanced and uh, select no color adjustment that way actual quality actual color will be printed on the printer on the paper itself just click OK and uh, as we have uh, enabled the print preview button so when I click on the print here as you can see it will actually show you how the print is going to look so this is how your output is going to be on the paper so as you can see the printer is printing the image okay so here we have the final output of the image as you can see it quite matches with because of the laptop screen you don't you won't be able to see it properly but as I can see with my eyes here uh, this is uh, actual output the color the way it is uh, showing to me in the uh, in the screen the same has been replicated on the printer itself so this is basically how you maintain how you use different settings to get the results you want from the printer like I said uh, if you have got any questions uh, please don't hesitate to leave in the comment section down below if this video has helped you please don't forget to hit the subscribe button please like and share this video as well it helps produce content thanks for watching see you all in another video bye bye